Hey, what's up? How's it going, everybody? It's Chris. And in this video, we will be sharing our part two of our guide to finding those rare Chase Funko Pops. Remember, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe because we upload videos every single Monday and bonus videos periodically throughout the week. So you have to make sure you subscribe in order to get those videos first. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of the video for more on part two of our guide to Chase Funko Pops. Now with that being said guys, welcome back for our part two of our guide to Chase Funko Pops. If you missed part one, don't worry, you can watch it by clicking the info card above. We will also drop a link down below in the video description, so make sure you check that out. Before you move to part two guys, you have to watch part one. So, with that being said, here is our part two of the guide. We covered the basic fundamentals of Chase Funkos. Let's take a look at where you find Chase Funko Pops. This is the question that gets asked the most and sadly, you're not going to like the answer. Basically, the clue is in the name. You have to chase after them. Due to their rarity, it is very difficult to find a brand new Chase Funko Pop via an online retailer or in a local store. The likelihood of you getting a Chase Pop from an online retailer is like Amazon or Pop in a box is slim to none. You are relying solely on luck and are at the mercy of whoever is going to the stock room. Some of the staff who pick the pops may not know what they are or are collectors too and they know exactly what they are and ultimately try to keep them for themselves. Now you have more of a chance finding a Chase Pop in local stores than via online retailers, though it takes effort. Your local stores will have them, however it's hard to find them on the shelves for several reasons. Either another collector has beaten you to it or store staff picking them up as mentioned before. They are put behind the counter because the store owners are fed up with people rummaging through the shelves and ruining their displays. Or someone has found one and hidden it somewhere else in the store so they can come back and buy it later. So how do you increase the odds of you getting a chase at your local stores? Ask the owner or the staff at your local store when they get their Funko deliveries. Then ask if they could reserve it for you, providing they get the chase. Now, if you do manage to get a chase from a local store or a wild chase as it's known, then congratulations. One of the easiest ways of getting a chase pop is from online stores. However, be prepared to pay more. You can search sites like eBay, Amazon, and Etsy for chase pops. There are loads of them. Just be careful of scalpers charging too much. Also be careful when buying them from eBay as they are plenty of fakes that are about. Sometimes you can get really lucky as someone who is just selling their stuff may not know what Chase Funko Pops are and perhaps price them low. Alternatively, have a look on Funko Facebook groups. They are a brilliant place to find people selling Chase Pops also. Now look, keep in mind, we will be doing a series on buying Funkos and we will be releasing a new video on buying Funkos online safely very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching part two of our Chase Funko Guide. Look, make sure you guys join us for part three next week where we will be looking into their value. So with that being said, we would like for you to comment down below with your thoughts. What's your absolute favorite Chase Funko Pop? comment down below and with that being said thank you guys for watching don't forget we upload videos every single monday and periodically throughout the week so you have to make sure you like comment subscribe and last but not least make sure you hit that notification bell to never miss a video